What's happening, everybody? Nick Martinez here. Hope you're having an awesome day. Uh, I want to take the next few minutes and just talk about hosting on Facebook. Uh, our social media strategy is really simple. Maybe you've seen a comprehensive video around it, but it's a simple three-step system, which is posting, growing, and engaging. Posting great content every single day, giving more value than you're asking for in return. At the same time, growing your network, meaning adding three, four, five friends each day. Simple to do, simple to do. We'll have a, there's a simple video on how to do that. And the third thing is engaging with your community on a daily basis. How do you do that? You engage in the comments of your posts. You engage in the comments of other people's posts. You, you go to stories and start clicking through and uh, send messages and comment on their posts. Guess what? It's simple to create that dialogue, create that relationship, create community, and you can absolutely do this. So I want to talk today about posting. Because here's what often happens. Oftentimes we'll post about ketones. We maybe you've watched the the training video on how to make your first post. I'm going to share some of those with you. Uh, but then what? Right? You made the post. Now what? Do you post again? Do you not post again? So I want you to think of this concept of create more value than you ask for in return, and how you create value on Facebook. It's creating a relationship. It's inspiring people. It's sharing what's going on in your life. I like to think of it as as the F's, like the, the five F's, food, fun, faith, family, friends, all of those things you're going to share about, right? What's your job? What do you do on a daily basis? And you're going to do so in a way that you're just inspiring others to step into their own life, to, to take life bull by the horns and go for it. Maybe it's just talking about things that are going on in your house. Right, I've got stuff on on my uh, thing over here. I could just talk about a book that I'm reading, the book that happens to be on here right now, or this uh, JBL speaker happens to be my favorite speaker. I could do a post on that. So here's the concept that I want you to understand: it's you want to give more in value than you ask for in return. Give more in value than you ask for in return. And the easiest way to do that is just to kind of have this like overall concept of like a ratio of posts about life food, family, faith, friends, fun, um, and beyond, and ketones, or prove it, okay? And if you keep that ratio balanced, people aren't going to just see ketones, they're going to see your life, they're going to be engaged, they're going to be excited about you and what you're doing, and then when you post about ketones, they're going to be reaching out and asking about them because they're, they're like, they like you, they know you, they like you, they trust you, it's the no like trust factor. So what does that mean? Here, here's a simple analogy, hopefully you'll take this and use it, it's a piggy bank, picture a piggy bank. Could be one of those porcelain pigs, could be whatever the fancy ones my kids have these days, right? But piggy, piggy bank, you post about food, fun, like you post any of the Fs and beyond, you're putting a quarter into your piggy bank, right? You post about ketones and how amazing this drink is and the energy that you get from it, your benefits from it, you're taking a silver dollar out. How many quarters are in a silver dollar? That's a rhetorical question. I know you know the answer to that. Four quarters of a silver dollar. So you post four times, you post one about ketones, post four times, one about ketones. What is the balance of your piggy bank? It's remained the same. Now, you may have started this journey with a piggy bank full of social capital, meaning your Facebook was full of people that knew you, liked you, and trusted you because you've been putting quarters in your whole life or your whole adult life since you've been on Facebook. Others of you may not have been using Facebook right? You might just be a silent person that's goes into the room and just watches everybody else's stuff, but you're not posting about your own stuff, which is fine. We're going to teach you how to start putting some money in that piggy bank, right? So everybody starts in a different spot. Some people have massive amounts of pennies and, and quarters and silver dollars in here. Some people have none and some, some people are just somewhere in between. So don't judge where you're at. Just become aware of it. So, you know, I might need to add more quarters. I might need to add some more friends in order to start to see a result, meaning people reaching out to you, some attraction via Facebook. So um, when we are posting, I want you to create a list, right? Let me, I'm going to open up a note here. I'm going to click share screen and we're just going to go here. So Facebook posting, uh, uh, give more value, value than you ask for in return. And then a four to one ratio with the piggy bank analogy. Okay. Now I want you to write down four to five categories that represent you. What are those categories? And I mean, I like the F's just because they're simple food, faith, 
family, what do you do for fun and friends? And if I had this on a piece of paper, I'd put these just in their own rows. But food, you might write down all the recipes or things that you like to make or cook, or if you eat keto or you eat low carb, write about that, write specifics. Faith, it's going to church, it's going on retreats, it's whatever it is for you. It's having small group, it's a, a, a devotional that you're doing. You fill in the blank. Family, it could be your kids um, and their sporting events. Um, it could be uh, family get togethers. It could be upcoming family vacations. Okay. Uh, fun. It could be whatever hobbies you have, right? It could be golf that I like to do. I like to go to the lake, uh, boating, uh, travel. And then under travel, I could have tons of ideas. Friends, you guys get the idea. Now, the other thing that I want you to put on here is future. Because future is really exciting. What are you excited about for the future? Where are you going? Where are you headed? Right? What are you doing in life? What are your goals? What are your dreams? Are there trips that you want to take? Now, all of these, if you get specific, if you take 10 minutes after this Zoom and just go through and write down idea, 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 now you're never going to be short on anything to post about. Never going to be short on anything to post about. So I want you to think of this. If you currently aren't posting very much, let's post once a day on your wall and maybe two to three times a day on your story. If you're already pretty consistent, I want you to do once or twice a day on your wall and then maybe three or maybe five times a day on your story. It doesn't it can it could be all at once where you're just taking pictures throughout the day and you're putting them on. Think of your wall as more broad, more picture filled, more like a bigger picture as the story is more of a snapshot into your day to day. In fact, I would take a selfie. I'll, I'll do a little uh, picture of this right here. And I'll put this on my story right now of filming a, a training today for how to post on social media. That would be a little simple thing for the story. I could also use that as a post if I wrote something just a little bit longer. Um, love the fact that I get to work from home. One of the things I do, uh, people have been asking, what do you do, Nick? One of the things I do is create trainings, right? So you can do that in all aspects of your life, okay? All aspects of your life. So I want you to, to start posting content. Don't mess up good for perfect. And at the same time, I want you to start posting on your stories and we have to be consistent. We have to create more value, okay? The second thing, if you have trouble with that, I'm telling you this list, get a piece of computer paper, just start writing on it, brainstorm. That's your brain dump. And if you have that in front of you, you can start using that for content and you can create it. There's two people out, two types of people out there, content creators and content consumers. Hard to be both. You can be a really good consumer of content, but generally that means you're not creating any of your own. So if you need to go get ideas, go scroll and find some ideas, set a timer for two minutes or three minutes and stop and then start to create your own content, okay? Second thing I wanna bring about on this is what about those posts about ketones? What are you gonna keep posting? And I want you to think of the post about ketones is in creating inspiration, creating curiosity, creating excitement because people are seeing something in you that they want. I'm going to show you a, a few ideas. And a lot of these ideas are the same as what you would do as if you were brand new, meaning if you just posted your first post about ketones, or maybe you haven't yet, this is going to be the same, but we're just dripping in. Okay. This is why I like this drink. And then we're, we're creating curiosity, creating curiosity, and you can go, bam, ask for the sale. Meaning there's a sale going on, or there's a trial pack going on, or there's a call to action. A lot of times you don't need that specific call to action because we're just planting the seed and people will comment naturally. And then sometimes, not all the time, sometimes we can have a really strong boom. So you should be posting about ketones probably twice a week. If you're posting really consistently, maybe you're doing it twice a day, post three times a week is okay. If you get into the four or five, you're probably pushing the envelope where you're taking money out of your piggy bank and your piggy bank is going to go broke. We don't want to go broke in our piggy bank, right? That makes sense. So let me share my screen again. And I'm just going to pull up. I didn't ask any of these people if I could share their Facebooks, but you know what? Their Facebook's public, so we're good. I just want to, so this is Stacy. This is one of her first posts. Feeling amazing today. So glad I found this drink. I'm going to show you the format so you can write these at any time. Always feel free to run them by me or whoever you're working with, uh, but you can, you can put together the basic framework. You got to have something that's like, wow, Feeling amazing today. So glad I found this drink a couple months back. Usually after being at Disney for a full day, eating a bunch of stuff I shouldn't, I'd be dragging. Instead, my energy's through the roof. 
I'm not craving any junk. And since I started this stuff, my clothes are way looser. Can't wait to see what happens the rest of this month. So glad I found this. And guess what? Got a lot of comments. Now here's what's cool. She responded to all those comments. So before you're like, oh no, I, I didn't only got three comments on my post. Well, guess what? She's like, she probably has more money in that piggy bank that she's been putting in over time, which is okay. We can all grow there, right? Important thing is that you engage with everybody that comments as well. Let's take a look at Molly. She just posted this an hour ago. Uh, so grateful for my mom full. Molly has posted in the past. So this is like a second or third post. No longer experiencing the dreaded afternoon lunch crash. I have more energy and focus throughout my day at work and come home with a smile on my face. This has been a life-changing, uh, life, this has been life-changing for me. So happy I found it. Notice, not a call to action or anything like that. She's got a comment. Somebody's interested. And look, she already messaged them. Congratulations, Molly. Good job. So here's what uh, Molly did here. She focused on one benefit. So my encouragement for you around ketones is to write down ketones, write down, prove it, um, write down like the opp opportunity or business, whatever you want to call it. And then I want you to put what you love most or what your benefits in each category are. So for the ketones, it might be energy. Well, what does that look like? What's the story you can tell around energy? For Molly, it was crashing at two o'clock in the afternoon. Maybe it's the fat loss. What's the benefit of that? What's the story? Oh, I just went shopping for new clothes. Um, in fact, I'm going to show you one real quick on that. That's really cool. But I would just come up with benefits as many, as many, as many, like what, even if they're small or subtle, I'm not craving what, what did you used to crave? Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Been using this drink for the last two weeks and I no longer crave potato chips. What did you, what do you crave on a daily basis? For me, it was anything salty and it, it drove me to eat way too many of them. Literally haven't had one in the last two weeks. So good. I found this drink. That's simple, right? Simple, one benefit. So as you move forward, each of your posts can create curiosity regarding one of the benefits that you've had. You're sleeping better at night. You're happier. Man, I haven't, I don't remember being this happy in the last six months. So glad I found this drink. Literally smiling ear to ear. Kids come home, even when they're losing their minds. I have patience for days, uh, feeling great. So glad I have this. You guys get that? Hopefully you're starting to see. So take the time and write down your ideas or your benefits to the product. Now I want you also to write down the benefits to the community, right? What's prove it or what's this business bringing into your life? It doesn't have to be millions of dollars yet. In fact, when I started, it wasn't, right? Hadn't been there yet. So what was I either A, excited about or B, what was like, what was a draw to me? I love, uh, so anytime you're on a Zoom, anytime you're watching a call, if you're watching this training, take a little selfie, boom, picture. Can't believe uh, if you would have asked me a month ago if I'd be learning how to grow a business in my spare time, I'd have thought you're crazy. I'm fired up and excited about this new endeavor because not only am I getting healthier and helping other people do the same, but I'm learning a lot of new skills at the same time. So much fun. Okay. Maybe it's the innate statement training that we're doing later today or that we did a couple of weeks ago that you just created your statement. Maybe it's sharing the value of that to you. The more that you drip about the value of being part of Prove It in this community, the more people that are following you or watching you are watching saying, oh, what are they doing? This is interesting. Maybe I should be part of that. So you want to know how to attract promoters? You got to talk about being a promoter. You got to talk about what you're doing and why. Okay. Also goals and aspirations. We have a car bonus. Do you have any cars? Have a picture of a car. Go test drive a car. Take a picture of it. Or take uh, some snapshots on Google and post those. Uh, looking at future vehicles. I know that in our business, when I hit a certain level, I get to earn a, a car that I don't have to pay for. Uh, what car would you choose? Okay. So let me show you just a couple more options or ideas real quick. And then we're going to... Um, Let's see, Kim, feeling amazing today. So glad I found this drink. It's been a game changer for energy cravings. The sweet's pretty much gone. Clothes are fit, uh, looser by the day. Can't wait to see what happens. If you have more before and after pictures, share those with a similar post. Uh, Vicky, D -d 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 -d. Um, let's see. Look at this. Absolute love, uh, loving the life-changing journey on. Had to visit one of my favorite stores and check out new sizes. So thankful for the energy. Build pain-free weight lead releasing journey. That's awesome. Picking out new clothes. That's a great post. Uh, feeling amazing today. Can't believe it's just been a month without this drink. What a game changer. 
Same type of thing. Perfect comments. So as you start posting about ketones, as you start posting about our community, use the person that you're working with. If it's me, if it's somebody else, use them, send them what you're going to post first. Say, hey, this is what I'm thinking. What do you think? And then they can help you tweak it or they'll say, awesome. I love it. Also, the more pictures that you can put of you on Facebook alongside that, the better because people resonate with faces. And then finally, if we do this consistently, meaning we create value, we create content, we share and inspire people by what we're doing, guess what? They're going to be inspired to come along and try what you're doing. So my encouragement for you is if you feel like you're boring or if you feel like you don't do anything, then get out of your house and go for a walk and start documenting it, right? If you have nothing going on, Walk 10,000 steps a day for the next month and just share that, right? I promise you, you all have way more going on and you're way more interesting than you, you lead on. And if you start sharing that, people are going to follow. They're going to be interested and then go for something. Go for, have set some goals and be vulnerable about you going them. You haven't achieved them yet, but tell about what you're doing. Tell about where you're going and why. And then watch as people start to follow and start to, to be interested in, in your success. Okay, and that's where you get to drip in ketones. Use your stories to document the day-to-day, -day, document the little things. You can't overpost on your stories, so just have fun with that, right? And that creates just that little snapshot, that little connection for people. And let's keep moving forward with this post piece. So stay tuned for the grow and the engage because we're gonna I'm gonna put together a video on those. But this is the beginning. This is where it starts, and I'm telling you. It is like there's literally billions of people on Facebook and billions of people to talk to and literally hundreds of thousands like just within arm's reach of you in your community and beyond. Uh, it is a incredible unlimited resource of people to connect with, to have great real relationships. And at the same time, people that are looking for what we have and they're not going to hear about it unless you tell them. I mean, you're you're probably here right now because I told you about it or somebody that I told and they told and they told told you about it. That's how cool this business is. Let's have some fun together. Have an awesome day, guys.